So these were the mini bots I made. Um, the first one I made was back in grade seven, uh, wind charger. So red car, and to transform him, uh, essentially what you do is you just uh, rotate his legs like that. That's it, wind charger. Okay. Um, second one is brawn. Um, he's a tough guy. Okay, transform him. Um, you just move down the legs like that, and then for his arms, you can just move them out like that. So this is brawn. His head is right there. Can't really see it, um, uh, because it, it's, it's the second uh, transformer I made. Um, so yeah, getting a little old. Okay. Okay. So now we have our um, favorite, I guess, Optimus Prime uh, load helper, um, Huffer. He's like a truck as well, but smaller. Okay. To transform Huffer, um, take the back end, then press it between the two pipes, like that. We have Huffer. Okay. Hopefully these will all stand still, but if they fall, it's okay. Uh, next, we have our favorite bumblebee. Um, transform him. Uh, he, he actually, his head actually does uh, come back like this. Just like in the uh, original toy. I based most of these uh, transformers, um, the models, based on the uh, actual toy. So the head actually does go back like that. Okay, and then the feet, just move it up, rotate it a little bit like that. So, and then, like for the hands, I could like rotate it like I did with uh, Brawn, but um, some of these are just kind of old and the arms are kind of stuck. So, most of these I won't move the arms except for. Uh, Brawn and Outback. Okay, so now we have Tailgate. Similar model to uh, Wind Charger. Um, I made him a little bit smaller, but he should technically be the same size as Wind Charger. Uh, Wind Charger over here. So, like Wind Charger, all I do is I just flip the legs um, back like this. So now I have Tailgate. Now we have Outback, the only uh, mini bot um, I created with a gun. Okay, um, I, I think he's also the only mini bot with a gun for the toys as well. So take that out. Um, so there he is. So transform him the exact same way as Brawn. Okay. Okay, and then. Technically speaking, the for Braun and Outback, these uh, white bits are actually supposed to come out um, only, uh, but it's kind of hard to separating the white piece from this uh, brown piece, uh, outside brown piece. Um, so I just decided to rotate both at the same time, okay, like that. Okay, and then for the gun, I can just uh, smack it down here. <laughs> Hopefully it, it stays, if it doesn't, oh well. 
Okay. Like that. So here's up back. The tailgate fell. Okay, hopefully this is good. Okay, next we have uh, cliff jumper. Uh, looks exactly the same as bumblebee. So, like bumblebee, the head does come out. Okay, should probably. Oh no, I think it's okay. So yeah, the head does come out, and then just. Rotate the feet a little bit. Um, there is a bit of marking over here um, that kind of like uh, shows the legs, right? Just minor details. Okay. Um, now we have pipes, similar to hover. Okay. Um, Oh, I guess these pipes are a little fragile. Um, let's see if I can fix this off screen. Um, yeah, it's doable. It's fixable. Okay. All right. So here we have um, pipes. So it's also like a truck, a uh, smaller truck. Um, and to transform him, it's similar to. Uh, kind of not 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 the same as Huffer because for Huffer what I do is I, I take this back end and I put it like like this put it here like this but then for pipes I actually have to put it down like that um, now this is a very very weird um, weird body because his head is literally on top of his um, on top of his legs so he essentially doesn't have a torso he doesn't have a like a main body, okay, but, oh well, it is what it is, um, and then in terms of the, uh, the, the, the hands, or his pipes, well, I think I, unlike for Huffer, um, I guess for, for pipes, I kind of do have to move his hands a little bit down, so, oh, unfortunately for this one, this one's stuck, so I have to, Correct this a little bit. It doesn't take too long to fix these. So yeah, when I when I make these as well, this is basically what I do. Don't really want to bore anyone with the the meticulous efforts of um, creating these things, but it it is fun uh, when you're into it. Um, bend this a little. Okay. Hopefully this will work. Now he looks like a zombie, <laughs> kind of uh, having his his arms out like that. But yeah, it's just to show that the pipes are actually his hands. The toys are like that as well. Okay, so I just have to. Hopefully these stay still. Okay. Um. Anyways, yeah. There's also like these markings over here that kind of define the legs okay so that is uh that is pipes um unfortunately because of the way i i created him uh, back then he is um he does stand shorter than his uh his friends um Maybe, maybe I'll consider adding a torso, but I don't, at this point, I think it's unnecessary. 
these guys keep on falling. There's a lot of bloopers happening. That isn't okay. just realized his legs are kind of uneven the thickness we have to fix that a little bit yeah these 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 models are very fragile they don't they don't really listen they don't really stick in place so skip ahead Fast forward, I don't have the incentive to uh, pause the video and edit things out. The video is longer, going to be longer than expected, but that is okay. This is a, more for me as a recollection of the things I created in the past and as well as um, me making sure that I still remember how to transform these things um, after uh, these years. Pipe seems to be a hard one. To uh, stand. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, nice. Okay, so now we have C spray. Um, he is. Um, a hovercraft uh, to transform sea spray um, not too hard I mean here you have the um, kind of like the propellers of the uh, hovercraft yeah this is him so transform him is not hard let's move this bit up So it's essentially, uh, it goes around his head, um, like that. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, this thing is a little old, so it's a little bit dry, so it's breaking up into two pieces, which is unfortunate, but that is okay. I can just fix this easily. Yeah, coming back and uh, playing around with these things realized that over time these things become super fragile and I need to um, remaster them sometimes, uh, fix them up, and update some changes and make sure that uh, they aren't as uh, fragile or aren't as um, bad looking. <laughs> I tried to make them as good as I can. Um, yeah, sometimes they're difficult to create due to the uh, materials I am res restricted with. Um, at the moment, right now, with these mini bots, I just use uh, modeling clay. Um, 
later on for my newer creations that I made a few years after, I used some uh, toothpicks that could actually uh, connect the pieces together. Okay, so hopefully this should work. It's a very fragile piece. This piece on C spray is actually super fragile. So I I don't know. It's I, I maybe have to I might have to fix this after, but um, right now right now it's just it's just this. So I just put it here for now. Okay. And then for the legs I move it up. are very fragile. Okay, um, let's see what I can do here. Oof. Okay, I'll have to create recreate this again. Not too bad. To do I just need this a little and then roll it okay Have some bend it a little like this there we go Okay, and with these propellers, I can just put them at the back, stick them on here like that. Okay, boom, there we go. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. So this is sea spray. Okay. I remember for this one, I have to move him a little bit forward. Center of gravity is weird. All right, next one, we have our favorite um, airplane, um, Powerglide. Okay, so to transform Powerglide, um, all you have to do is you have to um, so his head is like uh, back here, down here. So rotate his uh, this back part right here, and then so he's a little bit harder to transform. Uh, these wings go up like that. Then his arms actually do rotate like that yeah initially I said that the uh, the only uh, two bots that have their arms that rotate are brawn and outback but I was wrong yeah my uh, my memory isn't too good but when I do pick these up again I, I slowly remember how to transform them which is good. Okay. Rotate them a little bit like that. So that they're parallel to the to the body. Okay, there we go. Here we have power glide. Okay. Power glide. Ah, uh, next. We have Warpath. Our uh, favorite Autobot tank. So to transform him, nothing much. You just 
move his head up like that. And then this uh, section comes down here. Just like that. I mean, technically, with um, the other Transformers like uh, Wind Charger, Tailgate, Bumblebee, uh, I, I, I can rotate the... Uh, I, could, I, I could rotate um, their arms, but I feel like they are... Um, they're, they're too stuck for me to do. Uh, same thing with Warpath, I could rotate his arms as well, but whatever. It is possible, but I won't show it here. So Bumblebee, his arm actually feels like it's a little squished down here. Let me add a little bit. Massage it a little. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have um, Beachcomber. Beachcomber. Um, what is he supposed to be? Supposed to be like a like a car that can uh, drive on the beach. I'm not sure. Um, how 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 to transform him? I think all I have to do is just lift up the head like that. Okay, lift up his head like that. And then um, yeah, the legs come down like that. Okay, so there here we have Beachcomber. Transformation is pretty much the same as Bumblebee and uh, Cliff Jumper. Okay. Okay, Cosmos, our uh, UFO buddy. So Cosmos, his head. I can't really uh, do much about the head because in the toy it just pushes up and down. Um. So here, this is his head, right, in both forms. Okay, uh, really easy transformation. I just take this piece, pluck it down like that. Uh, Cosmos, I guess I could kind of uh, rotate his arms like that. Now, the only reason why I want to rotate Cosmos' arms is so that his legs are a little bit more uh, stationary. Um, so that these arms kind of like squeeze the legs in place or the feet in place okay and now we have our last two gears and swerve they're both supposed to be pickup trucks um but i made these when i was a kid so their sizes are not the same but they're supposed to be the same size gears is obviously a little bit bigger um they also have the same transformation as uh, wind charger and tailgate so just Move the legs down like that, or rotate the legs, right? And like the other, pretty much all of the other robots, I can move the arms, but they're a little bit stuck, so I won't do that. And here we have Swerve, okay? So that's it. Um, generation 1 minibots. Now these aren't all of them. Um, but these are the ones I made. Hope you enjoy.